Hi, Miles. Hi. Hi. Um, how important has Jamie T been for this album? Uh, extremely important, man. Um, when we started, we we spoke for many years. Me and Jamie have known each other about ten years, and we spoke um, about working together for a long time. Anyway, cut the story short. Uh, so in January, we decided to try and write some songs, and um, and we did, and each and I think we were just well, I definitely was. Um, we were, it was just so it was really enjoyable and it was great and we. We'd write a, tune, a song a day and get like, because I had these demos and I had the song Coup de Gras and the song called Silver Screen. And I remember playing him all this stuff because I, I didn't know what was good or what. And he got really uh, turned on by hearing Silver Screen. And he's like, that's what you should make a record like, or like that kind of vibe. He goes, if we write, we should write like that. And I was like, cool. So we had that blueprint in mind. And then it was just, once we started writing, it was, we were getting such a kick out of it. And each song that we do w w would seem better than the day before. And it just kept going and going for most of last year, man. And um, it was a, it's a beautiful thing. You know, I'd love to do more with Jay. How come you, well, you had, uh Three songs you had, I think, written before you started writing with him, right? No, three albums were. No, but I mean, three, three, um, three songs that t came on. Oh, that came on there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because all the, it was just every one that me and Jamie did, I just felt was stronger than the others. Can you take me back to when you started this? When when did you start writing for this album? What 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 oh, was it? The first five song? Five years ago. Five years ago. Yeah. And then I, I sort of had, I had a lot of songs um, written, demoed, uh, and then when we went to, but then we did a Shadow Puppet second record, um, and then after that ended, uh, and then I went back to sort of listen to all the songs that were done before that mm -hmm. tour. They just didn't, um, I don't know if it's because time had passed, maybe I, I felt in a different, place yeah. mentally um, they just didn't feel right you know so sort of started again and I went to New York wrote Silver Screen Coup de Gras and then um, then when I got back to LA I, I think I was just in a bit of a funny place I couldn't um, I couldn't seem to finish any songs or how come I don't know yeah I, I don't think I don't think I was quite happy in my life maybe or it was just I don't know it was a strange old time you know um, and then I started questioning things, but it was meeting, it was working with Jay, Jamie, it was, um, I couldn't have done it without him really, yeah. at that time. And what, what did he bring to you? He brought focus, but what? what? Yeah, fair focus and uh, enjoyment, I think, as well, Yeah. In, 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 in writing. It was, it was really sort of, we, whether we were like listening to something saying like, um, you know, uh, let's do a song that's like the Cramps or whatever we were listening to at that time, but most of the, pretty much all the, the songs that we did just stemmed from me and him sat like me and you are, you know, yeah. whether we're in my little sofa in, in the flat in the apartment or in his, um, his room in his studio, you know what I mean, just like literally we just bounce off things, get a beat up, do it. And then pretty much within like four hours, we'd have a, a song, you know what I mean? It was, I don't know if it was a time and place thing, we were both just a great, uh, it's one of my favorite things I've ever done, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, there's certain songs that, 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 that deal with breakup. Mm. Um, um, was it a big theme for you for this album? Yeah, it was actually, yeah. Yeah. Do you I mean the celebration of this? Yeah, there was a lots of um, there, there was lots of that. Um, it was a big thing for me that at, at that time, um, as I'm sure it was for her as well. You know, it, it was uh, it was tough. You know, but it was, and I do like to write about what. But there's there's, there's a celeb there's some like nice love songs on there as well. But it was definitely that. Uh, feeling confused and um, kind of not understanding why it didn't work out 
uh, I was feeling. Was this was this one of the hardest breakups you ever had? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. I can still see it, the pain a little bit in your eyes. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's true, but I think the song "The Wrong Side of Life." Mm. I think that's a song that you really scream your heart out. I do, yeah. Well, yeah. that's like a nice. That's telling someone how much you love them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and it's kind of that's probably one of my favourites. It's uh, it's it, it's kind of got a bit of a soul-y vibe, but it's like I, it, the song. It's sort of quite. T it's too high almost for me. But when you combine that with. Uh, the lyrics of what that song's about, and um, and sort of the emotion that brings it. It is like you you you're you're crying, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like you there's no there's no holding back on on, on on performing that, you know, and doing it. And that version is was the demo that me and Jamie did in okay. his room. I couldn't re when I went to go and record the album. Yeah. I couldn't. It just had something special, so we just we just mixed the demo because the vocal and it just you couldn't beat it, you know. Is it something that you um, maybe a bit strange what I'm saying now, but is it something that you could have done in the past, singing with this intensity? Um, probably not. No. And is it that? Um, how hard it is for you to now perform these songs? I, I can imagine it must be hard now. It's um, it's funny, yeah, because it, it does take me back, and it makes me uh, it, uh, yeah, they they uh, they hold a lot of feelings, you know, and yeah. and singing them, um, it, 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 yeah, I go to that place, you know. Is it? Do you do do you? Maybe, I don't know, do you decide to do certain songs maybe not when you're not feeling in them? Maybe do you do the set list maybe before you go play the show and say, well, I'm not, I'm not able to do this song now? No, that song in particular, we just started playing because um, we just added that in and the song called Killing the Joke, we just added those into the set. And it's been, it's, it's, it is, emo it, it's full on, it is emotional, but um, I, I like it as well, man. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a strange thing to explain.